It's the 1950s, Lafayette, Louisiana, a thriving town in many ways making its own future, like seizing the opportunity to become home to a university when other area towns turned it down. With its city-owned utilities company and developing as the heart of a booming oil industry, Lafayette in the 50s becomes one of the nicest places in the South to live, at least for some. While Lafayette was great hope for some, things were different for other residents. This leads us to our story about a little boy, born in Lafayette at that time, born in abject poverty, one of 10 children born to functionally illiterate parents, a child truly at risk. His father, who could not read or write, never learned to speak English. His mother had an eighth grade education and struggled to handle the family finances. His parents were good people who taught their children about honesty, hard work, and that integrity was doing the right thing even when no one was looking. This little boy grew up knowing the difference between right and wrong. You could say his parents raised him right. But his sheer embarrassment and shame at his family's poverty caused him to look for shortcuts and ways out of being poor. And while his uneducated parents struggled at multiple jobs, trying to make ends meet and feed him and his nine siblings, our little boy turned into a teenager and began to go wrong. A little at first, and then more and more wrong. Seeking and keeping the wrong company. Attracted to every bad habit. Learning to survive on the streets and becoming good at it. Learning all the bad things while being smart enough to master many of them. He gradually became a leader of the wrong kind. Then one day, about one week past his 16th birthday, his father, in a fit of anger over what his son had become, kicked our little boy out of the family home. And it was there, on the streets of Lafayette, without guidance, that our little boy's troubles grew. They accelerated as he began to test the boundaries of the law. He was arrested and then arrested again, and again, and again. And although the crimes were mostly small, juvenile offenses, like fighting and petty theft, our little boy, now not so little, had accumulated many, many arrests and was still only a teenager. With the approach of adulthood came our little boy's glaring, harsh realization that he had reached a crossroads in his life, where one road led straight to prison and the other to destinations unknown. And just as our little boy turned away from bad and toward the unknown, good fortune came to him. It came unexpectedly in the form of very good people, caring, considerate, concerned people who took a real interest in him, who noticed his intelligence and took heed of his leadership qualities. These people made him begin to wonder about himself, what he could be if he could channel his street knowledge in the right direction. These people made him see that education was the way out of poverty and the only way to escape his shame of being so poor. Determined, with the help of his mentors and advisors, he would go on to undo some of the bad that he had done and return to college where he had earlier flunked out. With a taste of accomplishment and a feel for doing right, our boy applied himself in college with all his might, achieving multiple 4.0 GPA semesters and ultimately graduating with very high marks. And then somehow, wondrously, he was accepted to law school and became a very good law student, an accomplished achiever, and ultimately the leader of his class. After law school, he began to practice law as a solo practitioner. Having no car, he rode a bicycle to his office for the first six months. And with very few clients at first, and no money for rent, he became the building janitor for the first two years of his practice. It was there, in the bottoms of the toilets, as he cleaned late at night, that he found understanding and respect for the challenges of the true working class, like his parents. With his knowledge, hard work, and love for his mission packed into his briefcase and his heart, he entered the courtrooms of the area, fighting for those who needed his help, and he won over and over again. With that, other lawyers began to seek him out to learn how he did it. 
And so, he began to build a firm, a very, very good firm, fair, honorable, confident, and with the hardest working lawyers anywhere. Today, our little boy's law firm is filled with the talents of world-class lawyers and a staff of over 30. They service 1,200 to 1,400 open and active cases at any given time. With a proven service to over 26,000 clients and their families, whose troubles were solved, whose injuries were compensated, whose cases were won, and whose lives were made better. That little boy today is living proof, absolute living proof that the care and genuine concern of a few really good people can make a truly extraordinary difference in the quality of the lives of tens of thousands of families, all because someone cared to reach out. I know because that little boy was me. And because many of my mentors and heroes are gone now, I can't pay them back. And I know today the world is an even tougher place for kids than the hard place in time that I experienced. I know that there are many, many truly at-risk kids out there in need, in need of care, guidance, or just a little help from someone they can respect and maybe even relate to. Someone taking the time to tell them what they can be, what they are capable of, what life can become for them, what they can become for the rest of us, all from first-hand knowledge. With that said, our little boy's law firm, the Glenn Armentor Law Corporation, is proud to offer the Pay It Forward Scholarship of Excellence, multiple annual $10,000 scholarships to the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. These scholarships will not only help with needed money for school, but will open access to Pell Grants, to TOPS, to lodging and transportation assistance, and other scholarship opportunities. Opportunities allowing a young person with no other chance to go to college, the opportunity to graduate and grow into their dream. Plus, this scholarship includes a paid position as a runner at our law firm, which is near the UL campus, and will allow our scholarship recipients to work around his or her class hours while we watch over them and help them however we can. So if you know a truly poor family with a truly at-risk high school junior or senior who could never go to college without help, send them to me. Help me pay it forward. Help me give back the incredible good fortune that was given to me. I come to you to ask for your help and support in finding those other young boys or girls out there that deserve to live a life of their dreams, as I have. I'm Glenn Armentor, and I invite you to continue watching to see the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarships in action. Thank you. You're watching Poverty Potential, a story of how one person turned his hardship into success with the help of a few. And now, attorney Glenn Armentor wants to thank those mentors by paying it forward with the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarships. We're not asking for donations. We're asking for names. Do you know a deserving high school student with great potential? Maybe you're a teacher or a family member, a friend or a neighbor who sees a glimmer of hope in the spirit. We're work ethic and character of an at-risk high school junior or senior. If you are, then send an email to scholarship at glennormentor.com or call the scholarship department at 337-233-1471 and simply pass the name along to us. We'll take it from there. And now, we'd like you to get to know Brennan Andrus, a 2012 winner of the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship. My name is Brendan Maurice Andrus, and I won the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship of Excellence. I was born and raised in Crowley, Louisiana. I graduated from Crowley High School. Home, I don't really, it's more of a move around type thing. My dream in life is to just become successful, be able to help out people as much as I can. I played football for four years, basketball for one year, and track for three years. Football, I was all district for one year, all parish for one year, and my, I made all state academic composite team of football. I work with Platinum Upgrades, Home Improvement for Senior Citizens, which is an organization who 
help senior citizens with upgrading their houses, any home improvement from leaks to toilets to home, home repair inside and outside. I heard about the Glenn Omitar Pay It Forward Scholarship from my guidance counselor. One day she had a meeting with all of the seniors about the scholarship and that was one of the ones that she showed us. I found out that I won a scholarship the night that I had the interview at the law firm. Mr. Glenn Armentar called my house and he asked to speak to me. And he let me know that I won the scholarship and he asked me, was I excited? And I said, yes sir. And I felt $10,000 richer. I was kind of in shock. I really didn't know what to do. It didn't really hit me at the time. It hit me a couple days later. The scholarship means that I have an opportunity to go to college. If there's one thing that I could tell Mr. Glenn Armentar, it would be thank you for everything. It just shows me that there's someone out there that you, don't, you might not know them or have anything to do with them, but they're, they don't mind helping you as long as you have good intentions and great potential. And they see that in you. They might see something that you don't see in yourself or they just want to help and they're willing to sacrifice from themselves to help someone else. It didn't just affect me, it affected everyone around me. My parents, they're thankful for the scholarship, which is, it helps them pay for college. And me, I'm just thankful that I get this opportunity to go to college with less of a charge on my family, which makes me feel good about myself that all my hard work is paying off and being appreciated. Live life to the fullest, don't have any regrets, always have a positive attitude, and make the best of each day. My name is Brenda Maurice Andrews, and I won the Glenn Armitar $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship of Excellence. You're watching Poverty Potential, a story of how one person turned his hardship into success with the help of a few. And now, attorney Glenn Armentor wants to thank those mentors by paying it forward with the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarships. We're not asking for donations. We're asking for names. Do you know a deserving high school student with great potential? Maybe you're a teacher or a family member, a friend or a neighbor who sees a glimmer of hope in the spirit, work ethic and character of an at-risk high school junior or senior. If you are, then send an email to scholarship at glenormentor.com or call the scholarship department at 337-233-1471 and simply pass the name along to us. We will take it from there. We will now hear from Gabrielle Sanford, a 2012 winner of the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship. My name is Gabrielle Sanford. I'm 17 years old from Kaplan, Louisiana, and I go went to Kaplan High School. I live with my mom, Stephanie, and my nine-year-old sister, Aubrey. Um, my stepdad, Mr. Jimmy, and occasionally my stepbrother, Andrew, comes over from college to spend some time with us. Home is really good. Our family is a lot closer than it used to be the past few years, making it enough money just to buy food and I'm really thankful that it turned out the way it is and that the experience that I have had with my family has made us a lot stronger and more close-knit. <laughs> I love my family. I'm a ballet dancer and I kind of do a little bit of photography on the side. I plan on doing it for the rest of my life even if it is just as a hobby. The way that I heard about the Pay It Forward Scholarship was through my guidance counselor. Um, she brought me out of class one day and brought me to her office and she said, um, Gabby, this, is, this scholarship is something that I think that you could potentially win and you should really apply for it and I guess it paid off because <laughs> here I am. <laughs> I was backstage getting ready to perform our opening night of Cinderella and we're all about to go on stage and then I get a phone call and I answer it, and it's Mr. Glenn Armentor, and he's congratulating me for winning. And <laughs> I just started like scream crying because <laughs> I was so excited, but I was also having a nervous breakdown because I'm about to go on stage. So um, I started hyperventilating, and Mr. Glenn asked me if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'm fine. And then um, after I hung up, I called my mom. She started freaking out. My speech team started freaking out, and so did our director, and we kind of did like a miniature party backstage before the show. 
The Pay It Forward scholarship means a lot to me because I know that without it, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford college and just knowing that there was someone like Mr. Armentor that gives this money to a student who really needs it and who's worked hard for it. I'm so grateful for it. It just, I don't know. He's just so great. You're so great. <laughs> I definitely know that my family has, it's a big weight off of their shoulders. My mom is especially grateful for it because that's less worry that she has of putting me through college. The whole experience of receiving it and getting to meet Mr. Armentor because I met him. He actually came to give me my scholarship at our awards night and <laughs> I hugged him and I'm pretty sure that I looked crazy. Pay it forward isn't just, it doesn't just have to be about giving money or scholarships to people. It could be absolutely anything. Just doing something nice for someone or lending a hand or anything like that. And I think that through this scholarship, Mr. Armentor is kind of just showing the entire community that you can help people and hopefully give them the idea that they can help somebody else in return. And I really hope that I can make him proud as a recipient of the scholarship. I'm Gabrielle Sanford, and I am the winner of the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship. You're watching Poverty Potential, a story of how one person turned his hardship into success with the help of a few. And now, attorney Glenn Armentor wants to thank those mentors by paying it forward with the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarships. We're not asking for donations. We're asking for names. Do you know a deserving high school student with great potential? Maybe you're a teacher or a family member, a friend or a neighbor who sees a glimmer of hope in the spirit ethic and character of an at-risk high school junior or senior. If you are, then send an email to scholarship at glennormentor.com or call the scholarship department at 337-233-1471 and simply pass the name along to us. We'll take it from there. Now, we'd like to introduce Rosalind Davis, another 2012 winner of the Glenn Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship. At one time, I was kind of, I was a little bit ashamed of what I came from. It's kind of hard to say, but it got to a point where my dad kind of said, are you ashamed of where you come from and stuff like that? And it really hit me. Like, why am I ashamed? I shouldn't be ashamed. From that day forward, everything got better. I started to look at things on the bright side that all I have to do is want a better life for myself. That's it. I would say I love being a cheerleader because of the fact it got me involved in school a lot. As a student, I was involved with clubs, as in all the clubs you can think of, I was involved in. I went to every dance you can think of. Even if nobody went to the dance, I went to the dance. I heard about the Pay It For It Glenn Omentar Scholarship from a lady at my church. She actually was in the choir with my mom. And it was just a coincidence that my dad called and said, Roslyn, you should take this number down and get the application so you could do the scholarship. And I looked, it was the same scholarship, so it must have been faith or something. It was a great experience sitting there with all these very important people and them making me feel important too. And I didn't even know that Mr. Glenn was sitting there in the corner until after he calls me. He's like, uh, you were interviewed today for the Glenn Armentor Scholarship, and I would like to tell you that you got it. I'm in Super 1, and I just stop, and I'm like, ah, oh, I got the scholarship. Everyone's looking at me like I just lost my marbles. This scholarship has lifted a very heavy burden off my parents as a whole. They still have their stress of, you know, living check to check, and the stress of other things, but knowing that their baby girl can go to college and be financially stable in college and not have to worry is definitely a blessing and a big burden, actually. Not just a little burden, a big burden lifted off of him. How he went from one scholarship a year to two and now to four, and I'm very grateful to be one of the four recipients to receive this scholarship. I would just like to tell Mr. Glenn Armitard Thank you so much.
from the bottom of my heart. You have made a way out of no way for me and my family. You have not only blessed a single person, you have blessed many people from just your one gift to one person. To me, the scholarship, it shows people that just because you have less than other people, you're not less than other people. It's not what you have, it's definitely what you do with what you have. I'm Rosalind Davis, and I won the Glim on Retour Paid For Scholarship of Excellence. The university is very supportive of the Glenn Omatar Pay It Forward Scholarship. It helps students who may not be able to come to college without it. It provides bright students who have a great, great potential and great future ahead of them realize that potential. And so we not only uh, support the scholarship program, uh, but we embrace the Glenn Omatar Pay It Forward Scholarship. This scholarship allows the recipients to concentrate on their academics solely and not have to worry about any financial obligations. But I think it, it's more than that. It's about finding a niche where you can pay it forward for those who have helped you in the past. Certainly academics are important, grades and test scores and things like that are important, but we're trying to look at the applicant from some other uh, vantage point. A lot of them see their families and they see how they're, they're making ends meet. And some of them see that that's all that's available for them. The students are basically responsible for everything that needs to get done to be able to apply to college and be successful once they get there. We listen to, you know, what have they struggled with? What have they done to overcome? Because we know if they've done it at that level, they're going to do it at the college level. Whether it's having to hold a full-time job or help to raise younger brothers and sisters, you know, I think this is the student that has succeeded in spite of that. For a student to apply for the Glenn Armentor Scholarship, the student must have a 2.5 cumulative grade point average, be a senior in high school, not need any remedial classes when they come to UL. They must be from the 8th Parish, Cadiana area. Including Lafayette, Iberia, St. Martin, St. Mary, St. Landry, uh, Acadia, Vermilion, and Evangeline parishes. The scholarship focuses on those who have potential, who have a proven record of success, who we know can make it, but are having difficulties in putting the financing together. And so the Pay It Forward Scholarship really provides the funding necessary so those students can come to college and can succeed at college. It also allows those students to interact with people on campus and really become part of the college experience. And they're able to make a difference in other people's lives, uh, such as this Pay It Forward scholarship that Mr. Ormontar has started. And that's important to Mr. Ormontar, and that's also important to UL. Giving students an opportunity to change their lives, to change uh, where they might be in the next five or six years. And ultimately, that will lead to much more successful lives. It gives our youth a chance to know that they haven't been forgotten. So it's an amazing, amazing uh, scholarship award for and gift for these students. We would encourage every graduating high school student in any high school throughout Acadiana to apply for Mr. Armentar's Pay It Forward scholarship. All the high school guidance counselors should have copies in their offices or of course we have relationships with them and they can call us and we'll make sure that they get what they need to apply for the scholarship. The foundation does need more people like Mr. Glenn Ormontar. He is a person who truly wants to help students. The Pay It Forward Scholarship not only touches the student, it certainly touches the student's family. It's more than just that individual, it really is impacting our community. It's only going to truly pay it forward by having uh, these students impact the lives of many, many others. I would encourage uh, any high school student who has a dream of going to college to go ahead and apply for the Glen Omtar Pay It Forward Scholarship because it really does provide a pathway uh, to you realizing your dream. So if you think that you might be interested in it, in it at all, I'd go ahead and apply and see what happens. And you're not going to lose anything by applying. You have to take that chance in life that you'll never find out if you don't take the chance and fill out the application. It's those who are willing to be committed and sacrifice. And without this scholarship, many of these students' dreams would not be achieved. Uh, it's, it's an extraordinary program that we're very proud of.
You're watching Poverty Potential, a story of how one person turned his hardship into success with the help of a few. And now a message from Mr. Glenn Armentor. I'm Glenn Armentor. I'd like to thank you for spending this time with us and allowing us to share our Pay It Forward Scholarship program with you. I'd also like to thank those who continually support our efforts, including UL, the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, area high school counselors, friends, and families of the applicants. And to those of you who call or email us with the name of a deserving child, or simply pass the word along, please don't stop. My deepest appreciation goes out to those that mentored me, turning my life around, becoming much more than many ever thought, and making the Glen Armentor $10,000 Pay It Forward Scholarship possible. If you can help us with the name of a deserving young high school junior or senior, call it in or email it to us. If not, I ask that you at least consider doing something nice for someone in need. And please, pay it forward.